Well, our drive reach overland sail signal booster arrived today. And it is the overland edition. It has the bracket where you can fold this down. And it has the extender if you want to use the short like this, which I probably will. But you have the longer one where you can go up pretty far too. So I, I don't know. I'll, I'll see. Here's all the stuff that's in the box. This year. Uh, little transmitter that's going to put the signal out in the vehicle. A little spring for the antenna. There's the antenna itself. Pretty light. There's your. That's not very long. I think I'll go ahead and use that. The long antenna. You know, you know just everything you need to put it up. Here's your bracket. So you throw it down. It ain't sticking up in the way all the time. And your Velcro in there. And then here's your power supply. A cigarette lighter. It's got a on off switch on it. But yeah, there's nothing to hooking this up. I'm just going to mount it to my roof rack. And there's a bracket right here that's made to go over the pipe. So I'll probably just use that. All your mounting hardware. But yeah, it's going to be an easy install. And we'll see how it works. We'll head back out to the forest where we normally don't get any good cell signal and see if this increases our signal. Okay, these are the components to mount this to the rod of the uh, cargo carrier. So you have this piece here that's going to screw to the bottom of that and it puts the radius in there. And then you've got this rubber pad. You're going to put that on there. That's going to keep that from spinning. This is, of course, the bottom. And then you have all your bolts. Easy peasy. So if you want to change how this is going to fit on your rack, depending on which way you want it to fold, you can take these screws out and twist this and it'll fold the opposite way. Okay, like I said before, I had reversed the screws on the bottom of this bracket and flipped it around so this would fold up and down this way. And uh, it's pretty stout. It ain't going nowhere. I may over tighten these. I don't know. I actually bent that a little bit, but it ain't going nowhere. Uh, I can't fold it down with one hand so hang on one minute maybe it would fold with the lights there but i'm gonna have to move my lights and that's not gonna be a big deal so i'll move these someplace else all right guys sorry about the sun being in y'all's eyes i've got the wii boost antenna mounted and i moved my lights i still had to wire uh zip tie everything up but i haven't run my cable from my antenna I'm just gonna run it across and along with these lights into the hatch. I haven't had no issues with these wires coming through right there, so I'm just gonna come through right there in behind the panels and cross into the back seat or down below the back seat. It'll run that. Uh, I'm, I'm basically just gonna lay it in here because I won't be able to take it out and put it in another vehicle if I need to. Okay, so the components that are left, you've got the converter and then you got the antenna for inside and the power. And this is the cable that's going to come from up top. 
and should be one for in here. This is going to go underneath the probably the passenger seat, maybe the driver's seat. This is just going to be up on the dash somewhere. And I said, I'm just going to lay it in here. I'm not worried about tucking the wire and the cables all out of the way. I just want it laid in here, kind of out of the way. Uh, where we can use it and then if we're in the wife's compass and we need it i can take it out of here and the hardest part will be moving the antenna so you know that's what it's going to be i did not use this i saw a guy has some videos about using this and it cracking the receiver on the end of his antenna because when you clip, it clips in pretty hard and when you clip it in there that thing does vibrates like that and he thinks that that's what's cracking it if I understand them right so I'm not going to use that you saw up there in the picture I had a foam piece of foam that I'm going to zip tie to that bar and it'll just rest on that and that should be fine uh, from what I understand a lot of people just don't even use anything so I'm going to put the rest of this in, you know, it's pretty much plug and play, the instructions are really clear. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of Velcro if you want to stick this to a certain place and stuff like that, and I'll get into that later. But pretty simple uh, install. I know this isn't like step-by-step -step install, man, there's so many of them online already. But, you know, just kind of how I'm running it and. uh, Cherokee and you can see I've got a jack and stuff in here uh, next project is I'm putting uh, airlift air uh, Helper bags on the back of this for when I'm towing the pop-up It'll help uh, keep the back end up just a little bit and let it handle just a little bit better So that install will be coming soon. It's not gonna be a big deal either and uh yeah i'll get with you after i get this laid out i pretty much have the wii boost installed this is it in the upright position i went ahead and used the extender and uh i have talked to some people that said you don't have to use that extender uh, so, you know, that might be something I change in the future. That way it's not sticking up like that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, I still have to get some more zip ties and tie my cables down a little better. I'm going to take this foam piece and paint it black. And then I'm going to take some zip ties and zip tie it right there. That way that wee boost can rest on that in the down position. And I wanted it, like I said, pretty loose in here. That way, if I want to move it to another vehicle, I can. I just have to move, take the antenna loose and cut some zip ties and move it. But uh, for now, I just ran it through the tailgate. And I used the little bag clip down here in the side to clip the cable. That way it's not in the way. And then I just run it up over underneath the bracket that holds the back seat. And then when you come around to the back seat, it runs down the seat side, inside of that seat belt, down between the seat here and I had this tucked under there, but when I pulled it, I decided to run it a different way. I ran it underneath the seat, and I put my box and all the extra wires tucked up underneath the center console because uh, we don't have any kids or anything, so uh, that's not going to be in the way of anything. And I put Velcro on the bottom of the box, and I... Uh, wrap my there's a lot of excess wire in between the console and that red box so i zip tied them together and then i pushed wedged all the excess wire up in between the red box and the console and then stuck the velcro to the carpet and that thing 
it's pretty it ain't going nowhere put it that way uh, and then the power wire that goes up front and the inside antenna wire is tucked I shoved it kind of up underneath the center console in between the seat and the console now let's move to the front seat the power wire it's still tucked up underneath this ledge to about uh, right back there and it just comes up to this 12 volt DC plug and you have an on off switch to turn that box on and uh, I carry a power unit with me now when I'm out in the forest and exploring so a lot of times this won't be plugged in here it'll be plugged in the back seat in or in the floorboard into the power unit and i just reach behind me and turn it on and off if i need it that way this plug is still open for stuff up front if i want it but for now uh, i just plugged it in right there a lot of people won't have a power unit and this might be the way they do it now, uh, the inside antenna, like I said, it was running underneath here too. I went ahead and ran it all the way to the front and then up. And then it comes, you can see a little bit of it right there. I tucked it in right there and it pinched it pretty good. And then it pinches, there's a pinch point right there to keep it held steady. And then it comes up. It's not in the way, I don't know how to use that real rear defrost button, but anyway, it comes up and I just velcro it right there so I can uh, move it if I need to. And uh, I've already tried it, but we're going to try it again here in a little bit. Of course, testing here is not all that good because I have cell signal. But, uh, we are going to hook the app up and see what it does for the first time in town. But like I said, uh, I think it's a pretty clean install. And when I want to move it to another vehicle, I just unvelcro that, unplug the power, and pull it out from underneath my trim panels. No big deal. Unvelcro my red box from the carpet and then go ahead and disconnect my antenna and uh, I will have to cut some zip ties uh, probably need to get velcro ties that way I can just unvelcro them and uh, don't have to cut zip ties all the time but it is four bolts and that's the most time consuming part and uh, I will have to undo the cable from the red box so I can get it through that hinge but I mean it's just pretty much pull it out real quick and I'm gonna be honest the chances uh, that I transfer this over to the compass will probably be few and far in between because this is pretty much our adventure vehicle that we take most of the time but like I said I think it turned out to be a pretty clean install now when I do the test I'm just going to have to pop some pictures and uh, upload them because I'm going to be using the phone itself when I do the test. So let's put some power to it. I'm going to shut the tailgate. And let's say there's other than pinch point right here on that. Uh, lost for words. This rubber trim. Uh, that's the only place we have it and I know it don't look good but I've had these wires to them lights like that for years now and uh, I check them and make sure there's no uh, wear but so far it hasn't caused any problems but you know I said that's good enough for me And I really like that I can fold that antenna down. And when it's down, it's kind of hid. I mean, you know it's there, but it blends in. It's not sticking up past the rack. So you don't have to worry about stuff hitting it. Go ahead and shut this passenger door. Y'all got a good view of what that looks like. As I'm sitting in the front seat, uh, 
most of the time if the phone's going to be used if ashley's with me she's the one that's going to be using the phone because i'll be concentrating on driving if there is a time that i have to drive it's, it's no issue i've already tested uh and there's enough distance i mean i'm, I'm pretty close to that and she's even closer and if there is an issue and that needs to be closer to me i can just unvelcro it and pull it over here to me uh you know but i don't i think that's gonna be fine but i'm gonna do the test with the app that they give us that i downloaded off the play store and i'll probably just take a screenshot of the before and the after of what it says we get and keep in mind, I am in my backyard, so I do already have pretty good cell signal. We'll, we'll test this further when we get out into the forest. Okay, so... Okay, so I took that phone off that bar. I uh, decided I didn't need it because it was holding it up too far and made it hard to pull the knob out to raise the antenna. So I just took some uh, Velcro cable ties and wrapped around it in a couple spots kind of thick. So that rests on it and it doesn't if you're hitting bumps it's not going to hit the metal it's just going to hit that uh, velcro and it'll kind of cushion it so i think that'll be fine time will tell <laughs> 